My friends, I want to share a personal story with you. A few weeks ago, something happened that I was so pleasantly surprised. You see, because of the corona and financial trouble in Iran and the miserable life of Iranian people, we have increased the number of our live broadcasts from two to five per week. We are serving those people every day. Our prayer team are serving people 24 seven, ready to contact people, for people who contact us to pray with them and for them. Now, three weeks ago, first day we are doing a live prayer meeting. And we started praying. I said, okay, let's pray for one hour. We start with praying uh, out of scripture, worship, pray for the nation, pray for the people's needs. And I was thinking at the end of the program, the last 15 minutes, let's ask people to submit their prayer request through social media, telephone. So here at the end of the program, I ask my team, those who are in charge of social media, Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, and the phones, I ask them, what is the number one request we are getting from our viewers? So let's pray for that, for the number one request. You know what they said? That's when I was surprised. They all said the number one request by the people is this. How do I become a Christian? What prayer do I need to do to come to know Jesus? Would you help me to become a Christian? I was pleasantly surprised. Amazing. The number one request with all the miserable life they have, their number one request, how do I become a Christian? So I led many people to Christ that day. And since then, the last three weeks, every live broadcast, we have requests of people who want to know Jesus. So I'm not surprised anymore. I expect it. You know, with all the bad news in the world, we need some good news. I would say enough of bad news. With God is always good news. And the good news is the Lord has opened the hearts of all the Muslims in Iran, hundreds of thousands of them. And if you and I join together to share the gospel, the Lord will save so many of them. Iran is ready for the gospel. Let's join together. I want to thank you for those who pray for us and with us and who support us with your finances because what you do is making a difference in Iran. Together, we will see Iran transformed by the gospel. God bless you.